Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Brandon America here again, and thanks for tuning in to another Logic Lesson. So the last couple of videos I've been putting out, we've been talking about um, how to comp your vocals, how to put them together, you know, get multiple takes and make a master take. After that, we went into how do you flex pitch the audio, you know, the vocal? How do you make sure that everything's in the right key and sounding just right? And today what we're going to do is we're going to talk about, excuse me, we're going to talk about audio flex, um, you know, time stretch and flex audio, which means if you were to have a piece of audio that you sang and you ran out of breath or you didn't know you wanted to hold that note out for as long, then what you can do is actually flex and stretch that audio out just enough to where it fits in and it has a, um, a better feel for the song. So let's dive right in. And this is the same session I've been working out of for the last couple videos. But uh, this video right here that I'm highlighting, you'll see my mouse over it. This is the take that I did in a couple videos ago to demonstrate the comping feature and creating the perfect vocal recordings. So today, though, what we're going to do is if you look closely here, I want to I want to highlight this little area right here. If you look at it, the way that this vocal ends, kind of where this white line is, you can tell that it doesn't go out as far as the track above it or the track below it or any of these other ones. And so what I want to do is I actually want to stretch this piece of audio right here. I want to make it longer and fit into the space so that it's not rushed and that it'll, it'll hold out and have more of a presence in the, in the mix. So what we're going to do, is uh, we're gonna do something a little different today. We're gonna stay right here inside of the arrangement window. And I want you to come up to the top left of the window and you'll see the same button we've seen before, the flex pitch button, and it looks like a little bow tie. So we're gonna select that. And now that we've turned it on, a lot of times your track may not come turned on like that. So what we'll have to do is just come down here and make sure that it's on for the actual track itself. But if you if you notice that there's got all these lines that are already in here and these are slicing or you know uh designated points that we can actually adjust the audio you know and it doesn't always have to be a vocal it could be a guitar it could be you know some other piece of audio but in this case what we want to do let's move this out the way you see that it's even a little bit shorter here well this particular line right here what it allows me to do is if you move your cursor up and down on this tool, you'll see that changes from having three arrows on the bottom half of the track to only having the one arrow at the top of the track. Now, in this case, since we've already got a left and a right, basically marker, we don't need to have the three markers. Uh, but let me just demo real quick what it does. So if I click where the mouse is right here, you'll notice um, it creates a new point and because there's already two points on the left and right side of it It doesn't have to create any more points, but let's say we go to the beginning right here Okay, well now there's a point in the very beginning that it just made and there was already one to the right So basically what it does is just when you have it below the middle of the track It's going to create a middle point a right and a left and then it allows you to adjust those well in this case We're just going to use the one at the top of the track uh, right here and we can even get rid of this so if you hover up to the top you'll notice there's a little circle with an X in it and that's where you just delete that so let's go ahead and click on this just regular click you don't have to hold anything and if I scroll to the left or if I click and scroll to the right you see that the audio starts changing and basically what we want to do is adjust this thing until it looks like it's about the same length as the other ones so before we actually do that, let's take a quick listen just to this part of the audio. And it sounds like this top one that we're working on is a little bit rushed and we're going to fit it in a little bit better. Holding my hand, cruising 75. Okay, so yeah, right here at this point, you can see that this peak, this little point, it's a little bit ahead of this one. It's a little bit ahead of this one and it ends early. So what we want to do, excuse me. Is let's drag this back out to the right and um, let's listen to it again. Holding my hand, cruising 75. Awesome. Okay, great. So that worked out really good there, right? So let's go in here and just let's do a couple more real quick so you can get a better feel for it, right? So let's say, for instance, um, 
this one right here was, was say stretched out a little bit too long and what we want to do is we want to put a point right here and uh, we're going to just click on it and drag it a little bit to the left now that you can see that it's lined up a lot better with this track right here below it and let's kind of look through here a little bit more this one as well looks like it's slightly a little bit longer than this other one so let's pull that in some and this one doesn't look like it's quite as long so let's put a point right here click and drag that thing out to the right just a little bit and if we put our cursor over there you can see that now they're about the same exact length um, this particular one I held out just a little bit longer so let's go in here and kind of trim that down just a little bit to shorten it up and what we're doing is we're just fine-tuning everything you see how this part right here was actually it looks lined up with this one above it it looks like it's a little bit behind this one um, and if you notice real close if we zoom in and look right here you'll see there's dotted lines instead of solid lines those dotted lines let you know that those are probably good places to go ahead and put a marker and now we can adjust it so let me pull that one just to the left a little bit and you see what happened right here it only stretched this beginning out so let's command Z and undo that the reason is is because there's a marker right here just to the right of it and we're gonna go ahead and delete that one and now what's gonna happen is it'll only stretch or compress itself in between those white bars there so let's take this over just a little more okay everything's looking pretty good pretty good oh that's looking pretty nice looks like this piece right here might be just slightly behind this a little bit so let's click and drag that one and pull it over just a little bit and yeah it's looking pretty good okay so this one started slightly early and sometimes what instead of affecting this area over here where my mouse is hovering over I can just put a point there and now if I move this point to the right it won't affect anything of that audio it's only going to affect what's in between these particular white lines so We'll pull that over just a little bit let's uh let's pull that over just a smidge so we can pull that over just a little bit and all oh, that's looking good this looks a little bit behind so let's delete that one and you can actually just put a mark wherever you want and drag that sucker over let's undo that i didn't like that one actually i think i like the one right here better so let's move that over just a little bit let's do the same thing for this guy right here move him over just a little bit and we can actually bring the end of that one in some because it's a little bit longer and bring that one over and let's bring that one over okay cool so i know by now you guys are seeing the concept and it does take some practice to get used to it you know uh, but if you guys have any questions of course feel free to drop them down below in the comment section i'll be happy to check it out and get back with you so let's just take a quick listen to what it sounds like now I think we've got everything looking and sounding pretty good actually there's one part right here this one looks a little bit rushed so what I'm gonna do is pull that one back just just a smidge and then pull that one back just a smidge there okay and everything else is looking pretty good so all right so let's take a quick listen see what we got blue skies blue jeans Baby, I love the way you look at me Holding my hand, cruising 75 I see sunshine in my rear view Starry nights, painting the truth Good and bad, that we went through ooh, 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 ooh. All right, so yeah, you know, this one right here is, is such a great tool to have in your toolbox you can do some really interesting effects with it as well you know like if you if this was a guitar and you wanted to try to make this particular sound right here you know faster if I... okay great so let's say we want to make it faster though let's bring this thing in and now let's check it out if I... <laughs> Had kind of a funny vibrato at the end there. Let's listen to it again. If I... Sounds like a little lamb or a sheep or something, right? Um, and what happens, though, is after a while, when you when you try to uh, stretch any particular audio or compress it too much, you see how it turns red and it says, you know, do you really want to create a high-speed section? Well, in this case, let's just say yeah and see what happens there, right? 
my head, cruising 75. Okay, so it sounded like it was computer generated and wasn't uh, a nice sound. And uh, again, you know, all we gotta do is pull this back out to, to match the rest of the vocals there. And, um, or if you don't have vocals to line this thing up to, you're really just listening to the feel, to the cadence, to how everything sits in the pocket of the rhythm. And, uh, you know, with all the tools that I'm showing you right now, you can definitely get some amazing vocals. After you get your leads down, then you can put your backgrounds. And if your backgrounds are slightly off, you can go in here and flex pitch. You can, uh, you can uh, flex audio and stretch it and compress it and do a lot of really, really fun things. So this was just a quick one real fast. Like I said, if you guys have any questions or any tips, leave them down below. And if you guys got some value out of this, please hit that subscribe button right there. Hit the notification bell uh, to alert you whenever I put out new videos. And um, just uh, keep working hard, you guys. You know, you get out what you put in. Hard work pays off. And, you know, I've been doing this for over a decade. And, you know, it didn't start easy overnight. There wasn't a lot of videos like this. So just want to say thank you for tuning in. And uh, let me know else what else you guys want to learn. I'll definitely put it on my list, make a video, and shout you out, letting, you know, letting everybody know that you were the one that was the reason for that video right there. So... Until next time, you guys, it's your boy Brand America again, signing off. Peace and love. We can dance on Broadway like we own it. Anything you want, we can do this all day.